name's Grandad. My first job today was making a template for my headboard. So, got lots of bits of cardboard that we've been using for other templates. Not ideal, because uh, it's a little bit floppy, but um, yeah, cut it all out and made the template, just so I can get the angles right. So when I cut it out on the plywood, I've got a little bit more of an idea, but it will need a bit of adjusting, especially when we get the wall covering on and the trim under the gunnels and everything. It'll be a slight different size, so we'll be trimming it again. But to get the basic shape, it was ideal doing it like this. The headboard, we're going to make the headboard so it clips on and clips off so we can get to the back of anything that if we need to and if I want to reupholster it at any time, I can do that. That's going to be the windowsill. Yeah, I think that'll do. We can straighten it all up on the plywood, can't we? Yeah, so just laying the template on the plywood. Um, and we're using 9 mil plywood for this. Eddie's just drawing around it. We're making it a little bit bigger because the cardboard is floppy. We're going to get some better stuff when we come to do the bulkheads. <laughs> but at the moment this will do. But yeah, we're just up, we're just making it a slightly bigger than what we've well it is. So. And cut some off, but we can't put some on. Once I'd cut the outline out, I put the frame on the top of the ply and drew round all the squares inside and that's the they're going to be the fronts of the boxes when they're cut out. So now they're all marked out, I can start with the cutting.
So now I'm going to start cutting all the pieces for um, the boxes and they'll be inserted into those gaps that we've just cut out. I used Gorilla Glue um, for the first few boxes, taped them up, left them to dry. But because I had a lot of boxes to do, I thought blow this for a game of soldiers and uh, decided to use the hard stuff. don't know where this glue's been all my life but I absolutely loved it. So quick and easy to use um, you just have to keep your fingers away from it or otherwise you'd have a box stuck on your hand for the rest of the day. So it's a no-nonsense uh, mitre glue so you've got your adhesive and your activator and the activator makes the glue work so so quick. Um, as soon as uh, you put the pieces of wood together they bond um, and there's no getting them off so now they're all done I can give them a couple of coats of paint um, on the outside the inside will eventually um, probably be wallpaper or fabric but just to make them look a little bit pretty later on I put some brad nails um, in the boxes too just to hold them tight really there's not much going in the boxes not much weight um, and they don't have to be too sturdy but it was just for some extra support right while Hayley's been making boxes for the headboard etc this is what I've been up to um, this is I'll just show you the box actually it'd be easy to show you the box this is a what they call a pointing thing for your internet it's an omnidirectional antenna which means very little to me but I'm told they're pretty good um, we've just mounted it on this magnetic stand so the theory being behind it is if we're on the canal we've got this facing the rear we're heading that sort of direction if we're if we're going towards somewhere and the bridge is too low and we haven't taken into account this it'll hit this and it'll fall forward so we're not smashing this into the into the into a bridge or the trees or etc. I've just it's just temporary it's mounted on the boat at the moment. Well, it's it's magnetic, so it could be mounted anywhere. But we've just fastened it at the back of the boat, purely and simply because you won't be able to see. But over this sort of area up there, there is actually a a, a, a mast, so it's it's pretty rapid at the moment. And all we've done is we've just ran the cable down and through the the doors at the uh, on the stern um, I'll take you inside and show you what happens inside so it comes just basically through the door at the moment um, pretty rough bit of cable routing around there but you get the idea um, just get off the step. It just basically we run it across across the ceiling here. That's the Easter cards and apparently she's a fab nan. Um, 
past the carbon monoxide detector and to this Hawaii router. Um, just bought this off the internet. Um, good reviews. People people don't seem to dislike them too much. I spoke to a guy at the boatyard, our mate Simon, and uh, he gave me a few pointers on what we should get. I've actually got one which was like, it's not, um, it's not not locked, so we've actually got a Smarty SIM card in there, and it's really good. Uh, unlimited internet, um, etc. And it's, I think it's something like sixteen pound a, a month. Next, I build up the frame, um, and this is the bottom part of the frame that sits at the back of the bed, um, because the wall is sort of uh, sets back um, and we wanted our headboard above that bit that sets back we needed to make a, a frame that sits in that hole it'll all become clear when we pull it back up at the, at the bed but here I am making the frame We've left space around the boxes um, because eventually these are going to be upholstered. So there's going to be the foam stuck on, on the front and fabric wrapped around each box. And so we needed some space so we can get them in and out, hopefully. <laughs> Not put any boxes in this middle section because when the frame goes back up onto the bed you'll see that's where the filler pipe the water filler pipe is so we'll always be able to work on it and get to it um, let's see if this fits yeah not bad of sand and a couple of coats of paint and it was done. Here you can see we've attached the foil insulation behind where the headboard's going to sit. Um, you, you can see that dark patch in the centre there, that's where the filler pipe is for the uh, fresh water tank. We're going to uh, sort of wrap that in a separate item and, and sort of insulate in there uh, when we've actually sorted that filler pipe out for good because we're going to change that to a different type again from some advice that we've had. Um, just concentrating on getting the foil now sort of taped top and bottom and sides just to the rest of the boat so it's forming that vapour barrier or thermal barrier that we spoke about earlier. So that's done. Um, not put any backer board or sealed in the like shelf units um, because we're going to have a, an air vent at the top just under the window, um, under the hatch, in the. Uh, oh, the windowsill. Window yeah, window on sill. the windowsill, yeah. Window ledge, yeah. So the air vent are going that windowsill and the air be able to travel down and under the bed. Right. Let's put it all together. We've 
cut some ply to form a shelf above the plumbing which is underneath the bed which will be finished uh, later when we've uh, actually enclosed the bed. is putting together the um, boxes they're like a bedside table box so instead of like knocking everything off the bedside table because we've got such a small space there'll be a lid on it and we can put stuff inside it After two coats of varnish on the underside of all this plywood um, it's time to start fitting the steps back into place. This bit I'm doing at the moment is actually going to be carpeted and the upstand which is you can just see there moving that's actually going to be cladded like the same as the, the cladding on the side of the boat. These will also be removable so if ever we need to get in there to trim the boat with a bit more ballast or to get to the any of the plumbing work that runs through there we can do. We're going to make some nice hardwood tops for the tops of the boxes. Um, we haven't brought any of that wood yet so uh, whatever we use for the windowsill and the actual hatch door we'll, we'll use on the top of those as well. Um, and Aidy said he's going to make me a nice little sliding opening. Are you three supposed to be doing work? You free? Yeah, this is it. <laughs> Bill of fight. 